This video will teach you how to do a really important skill inside of Microsoft Excel, and that is how to create and format tables. This is a building block for you to be able to work with large data sets, and once you convert a data set into a table, you can then use things like the filters and the sort functions inside of Excel to really get the most out of that data set. So what we're going to do is I have a small data set here that I just pulled off the internet. It's some of the football players from the Atlanta Falcons football team. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to turn this into a table. So right now, as you can see, this is just data in cells, nothing special about it. Um, I have the labels for each column up here, name, number, position, all the way to college. And what I want to do is I want to convert this into a table so that I can work with it more easily. I can sort by name, I can sort by position, I can sort by height, whatever I want to do with it. So the first step to do this is I'm going to select any cell inside the data set. So I'm just going to pick A1 right here. And then I'm going to go up to my Home tab up here at the top. I'm going to go to Format as Table inside of the Styles box here. And then I'm going to pick a style, uh, whatever format I want. This doesn't really matter, but whatever uh, format looks good to you, whatever, whatever you prefer or your organization prefers, that's what you should go with. I'm just going to pick this one here. Excel is going to take a guess as to what my data set includes, and it's guessed right. If it didn't guess right, you can always delete this range that is put in here, and then you can click and drag and tell it what range you want to turn into a table. But again, this is guessed right. You can see these marching ants going around my data set. And then this box here that says my table has headers. What that means, uh, headers are these labels up here on your columns. So if you have labels like I do on this data set, Go ahead and leave that box checked. If this were just the data, so starting at Micah Abernathy and going down and no labels, I would uncheck this so that it doesn't uh, make that top row into labels. Again, I'm gonna leave this checked because I have labels, or uh, I have headers rather, and I'm gonna hit okay. And now I've created a table inside of Excel. Like I said, this lets you do a lot of things like filtering, sorting, and other things we'll get into in later videos. But just as a demonstration, if I want to sort by height, maybe from smallest to largest, shortest to tallest, if you will, this will sort my players by height and do the same thing by weight. You can filter if I only want to see people who graduated from B uh, BYU, I can do that. And there's Tyler. And then I can go back in here and clear that filter. And it shows me everybody. So that's an introduction to tables. If you enjoyed this video if it, or if it was useful to you, uh, I would appreciate a like and just drop a comment down below. And then I greatly appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel and let me know what else you'd like to see in the future. Thank you.